Hey Mac Nation, I'm Megan Clementi and it's time for another edition of Mac Weekly. This past week featured a lot of great matchups on the hardwood and we're going to kick things off with our weekly recap of the women of Ball State hosting Bowling Green. This game was a tale of two halves. In the first, Ball State limited the Falcons to 28% shooting from the field. This allowed them to take a three-point lead into halftime. Second half and the Bowling Green offense turned things around. Half hill for three, nothing but the bottom of the net. The Falcons used a solid performance from the three-throw line to pull out the victory. They shot an impressive 81.8% in the 72-61 victory. Miriam Justinger led the way with 18 points and two boards. Also on Wednesday, the Ball State men traveled to the Convocation Center to face Ohio. Going into halftime, Ohio pulled ahead 27-21. In the second stanza, the Bobcats went on a 7-2 run to build an 11-point lead. Ohio would go on to win this one 71-51. Maurice and Dorr scored 16 points and recorded two blocks in the Bobcats' victory. On Saturday in women's basketball, it was the Battle of Mac Conference Unbeatens. The Falcons facing the Chippewas. This game featured nine lead changes, and as the second half wound down, Bowling Green led by two. Rebound gets it out to DiGiulio. The three for the lead. In and out. Another rebound of the stick back. We're tied. We're headed to overtime, and CMU earns the first five points of the extra period. The Falcons would get within two after the Rachel Konetsky runner falls. But the CMU D would come up big to seal the victory. Jessica Green with a rip, and this game is over. Central Michigan goes on a win 82-79. Also on Saturday, the Toledo men faced off against Akron. Toledo tried to open up a substantial lead early, but Akron's Quincy Diggs had other ideas. Another steal. Here's Diggs on the run out. Toledo dominated on the boards, and they used that advantage to take a nine-point lead into the second half. The Rockets' lead would get as high as 18 points, and they would go on to win this one by 14. J.D. Weatherspoon recorded an impressive double-double with 20 points and 14 boards. Saturday also featured Kent State versus Buffalo, and the Golden Flashes jumped out to a 10-4 lead, but Buffalo quickly turned things around. Basketball bullshit in terms of intelligence is way high on the charts. How about that right there? After a few lead changes, the Golden Flashes are up to entering halftime. Buffalo would outscore Kent State 44-31 in the final 20 of the game to win this one 71-60. Will Regan led the Bulls in scoring, pouring in a season-high 25 points. On Sunday, the Bowling Green men face Western Michigan, and we pick up the action in the second half. Bowling Green trailed 39-27, but the Falcons refused to give up. This is Clark, shot clock at five for the lead. Mm. The Falcons' D holds the Broncos scoreless for the remainder of the contest, and Bowling Green overcomes a 15-point deficit to win 69-64. Redshirt junior Anthony Henderson contributed a career-high seven three-pointers, which resulted in a career-high 27 points. Here are the players of the week for the men. And here are your women's players of the week. That'll do it for another edition of Mac Weekly. Remember to keep up with your favorite Mac teams by staying connected on Mac-Sports.com. I'm Megan Clemente, and I'll see you right here next week.